everybody. Um, I'm about to show you something which has taken me... It must easily be four years to try and hunt down. So, naturally I've, as I always do, because, you know, I've, I've blotted out addresses and whatnot because anonymity should be a thing, you know. I mean, somebody could be watching this and they might just, if they see an address, post some rubbish to somebody in this, you know, I don't like it. It's not on. But, okay, anyway, in saying that little, little blurb, this is packaged really well. I'm going to try and not to cut into the book. As I say, it's taken me three years at least to, to get this thing. Um, Simon, from the Simple Simon channel. If you're watching this, this is in your territory, mate. So, I don't know whether you've ever come across this before. You may have done. And there you go, Simon. Two mil, two mil of blade. Very, 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 very gently cut to the outside, slowly. Let's see if I've managed to cut that successfully enough. As he drops the book. Right. This particular one completes my run of this particular comic. As far as I'm aware, because I've done a little, well, a fair bit of research over the years, this was the last issue printed in the run as well. So it's not a, a random book from the middle. It's the last one of that series. Okay. A little bit of trouble getting this open. Trying to be as careful as I can be. And obviously it's a, it's a digest size comic um, by a company called Yaffa, formerly used to be a company called Page. And they produced their books in, to a lot of people, non-standard size. They're not like the American size comics. They're smaller, digest size. They also used to um, publish their books in magazine size as well. What I got here is the last issue, as dog-eared as it is, I don't care. Um, it's the Invaders, issue number seven, the last one of the run. Three years to find this. I couldn't find it anywhere. I've got an eBay search set up for, for the Invaders, and randomly I, it, this popped up last week. Yeah, very fast shipping. It's only last week, I think. So, yeah, bye. Actually, no, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a buy it now, it was a bid. So I put in an insane amount, because I really wanted this. And amazingly, there were no other bidders. And I've got this for about five, five bucks. So, all inside are black and white. Beautiful. Because I kind of specialise in, in foreign comics, which to me is non-American, let's put it that way. I've had a bit of a topic on this on Foreign Comics Calling Podcast, where we try to decide what's a, a foreign comic collector. Very difficult thing to answer. Um, but for me, this is Australian, even though it's the English language, it's still a foreign comic to me. So, yep, yeah, quick look through it. Nice. Even a 1940s Submariner. Great! That was unexpected. Right. I very much doubt I'm going to be... Two Submariner stories. I very much doubt I'll be seeing another, another one of these again. But there we go. Just thought I'd show you my joy of, of actually finding this thing. Absolutely wonderful. Dog-eared as it may be. Actually, I've gone off on a tangent. When you're in foreign comic collecting as such, um, near mint becomes a myth. There's no such animal, really. Uh, you, if you see it, just, just get it. Quality doesn't become an issue. More than actually owning the issue does become an issue. So, there you go. There you go. 
thanks everyone. I'm right in the middle of work. Um, got all my things, all my work actually working on stuff because of IT. Lots of things are just hanging around waiting for updates to be done, etc. So I might just brew myself a coffee, sit down with a, a tin of chicken soup. Chunky, of course, because soup isn't soup, soup unless it's chunky. I don't want to drink, I want to eat. <laughs> okay, guys and gals, thanks for watching. I um, hope you enjoyed that little invader snippet. Three years! I've been looking for that. Anyway, see you on the flip side. Um, we'll probably be the weekend, I should think. Bye for now.